Alira from Myrtle Beach, or today actually North Myrtle Beach. We are at Barefoot Landing. We're gonna give you a full tour, show you everything that's going on and show you what is new in 2024. And there's some super exciting news. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But we're also gonna take you all the way around and show you everything Barefoot Landing has to offer. Hi, I'm Carmen. If you're new here, we cover everything Myrtle Beach in the surrounding area. And if you're a return viewer, welcome back. We're so glad to have you. So as you can see, we've got the Landshark Bar and Grill here. That's fairly new. This is in the location that used to be uh, Joe's Crab Shack, if you remember that. Leave us a comment if you remember Joe's Crab Shack here. If you missed Joe's Crab Shack, it does still exist at Broadway at the beach. They've also got this really cute playground here for kids, nice outdoor seating area. So if you're not familiar with Barefoot Landing, a little overview. Barefoot Landing is a shopping and entertainment area they've got all kinds of stores lots and lots of shopping we're not going to list every single store but there's tons and tons of shopping here there are a lot of restaurants some really good restaurants here and there's also a little bit of entertainment in the summer especially they have some live entertainment uh, some music uh, there's also entertainment at some of the specific venues here and also there's the alabama theater here and some other things that we'll mention as we go around uh, so all kinds of cool stuff to do. There's plenty of free parking here, so this is not something you have to worry about paying for parking. They even have boat parking on the Intracoastal Waterway, uh, and that's free too. So all kinds of ways you can come here and enjoy Barefoot Landing. If you're not familiar with the location, it's off Highway 17. It is right in, and we'll take a look at this beautiful view here. Obviously, it's around a lake and it's right over the border into North Myrtle Beach. So uh, if you're in Myrtle Beach, it's really easy to get to, especially if you're staying more towards the northern end of Myrtle Beach. Uh, here's one of Brian and I's favorite store, the Christmas Mouse. I know it's after Christmas right now, but we enjoy shopping Christmas year round and that's exactly what they are. They have Christmas stuff all year and they also have other things. They have beach decor, they have other seasonal decor. So like, for example, if it's Easter, they might have Easter stuff, that kind of thing. Here's the ultimate California pizza. We've eaten there before. They've got some nice outdoor seating, outdoor bar, and they also have indoor seating too. So all kinds of options for where to sit. And then, oh, and if you wonder where all the people are, uh, it's a off season when this is recorded. If you're watching this when it comes out, you'll know that. Uh, but if you're watching it later, we're in the off season. Also, it is incredibly cold and windy today. So yes, things are open. Uh, you're not gonna see a lot of doors. You'll see a few doors propped open and you're not gonna see a lot of people this morning uh, because it is chilly, but yes, yeah, so they are open. Um, and uh, so I don't really think it's deserted or anything. This is not how it would normally look, especially during the full tourist season. So here's Umberto's. They have been around for a very long time. It's Italian style food. Uh, so if you like Italian, that's a good place to go. Nice fountain over here. And then we've got quite a few shops along here. The Black Market Minerals. Olive Shop, the Pepper Palace. Do you like spicy foods? Let us know in the comments if you do. Brian is a spicy person, I am not. And over here you've got Breezin' Up. And then right here you've got a few fun things for children uh, and adults. I like to ride a carousel. Um, but um, you've got some fun things for children right here. You've got a little train ride. You've got the carousel, and there's also one of those bungee bounce type houses, or not houses, but outdoor bungee jumping type thing. But we wanna show you a few things here in the middle. They do have some large sized chests and checkers out here, that's just free to use. And a few shops over here. And then you've got the Crooked Hammock Brewery, and the Crooked Hammock Brewery is fairly new. It's been here two, three years now and uh, they do brew their own beer and they have an outdoor beer garden and they have indoor seating, outdoor seating, all kinds of fun stuff going on. And they also have this bar over here that is over the water. Um, I believe it's called Tortuga. Uh, we'll check the sign as we go by, but they've got, that has swings on it. They're tied down right now because of the wind and the off season, 
but it has swings you can sit on and while you're enjoying your drink as well as regular chairs. So all kinds of options there. Oh, we've got some turtles this morning getting their sun. That's neat. And it's appropriate too for Tortuga Island. That's pretty cool. And over here is that outdoor seating I mentioned. They've got some cornhole. They also have a large playground right here in front of Lulu's. Again, that's free. You don't have to pay anything to use that so you can bring your kids, burn off some energy. And then over here at Lulu's, they also have some family friendly things to do. If you're not familiar, Lulu's is owned by Jimmy Buffett's sister and they have a really fun environment when the weather's warm they open up these big garage doors so it's a semi-open air they've got seating right on the waterway they also have this big sandy area we'll show you here across the street and uh, as you can see like i mentioned there's parking all the way around here so you don't have to park in just one spot you can park next to wherever you're going but over here, they've got this outdoor sandy area. In the main season, they usually have cornhole out here. I think they usually have a volleyball net. Got some ping pong. Uh, so Lulu's has a lot of fun stuff for the family. Got a little bar over there. And then they've got this huge rope course. That of course would be for a fee, the rope course. And then they have Lulu's arcade straight ahead of us. And it's actually really nice. We went in there one time, one of our videos, we did film the arcade right after it opened. And it's really nice inside. It's like a smaller version of a Dave & Buster's with modern arcade style entertainment. Here we have Taco Mundo. A lot of you have said this is some good eats, so we gotta try that sometime. And they have outdoor seating on the waterway. We're gonna walk down the waterway in just a second. But this is the big exciting news here. This building straight ahead of me is the Big Chill. We're going to come over here and take a look at their promotional sign. Um, so that is coming soon. And according to the last information I read, which is subject to change, they are planning to open in April. I do see it, they do still have some construction to do, so I don't know if that date will be correct. But that is a new exciting thing coming in 2024. You can see the conceptual uh, pictures here. It's going to be huge. It's going to be 10,000 feet. They're gonna have a rooftop terrace. They're gonna have a stage for indoor entertainment. Um, they're gonna have multi-level seating. They're gonna have outdoor seating. Uh, so this is gonna be not just a restaurant, but also a entertainment venue as well. So we're gonna go first to the back side, look at the waterway, look at the, what the waterway side's gonna look like. Then we'll go back around to the front because I wanna talk about some more entertainment that's over in that direction. So this is actually really exciting, I think. Uh, great new addition. It replaced some places that went out of business. They just tore that whole section down and put up this new. So always exciting to see new stuff coming. Let's take a look at the waterway first. It's gonna be quite windy here. Hopefully there won't be too much wind noise. It is a incredibly, uh, to quote Winnie the Pooh, it's a blustery day today. And it's, it's in the 40s right now, so with the wind, that makes for some cold, cold wind. So it's pretty, you can see the waterway is beautiful. This runs all up and down the eastern coast. So uh, if you're not familiar with that, it's a lot of boaters use this to travel by. You can actually go all up and down the east coast. But here is what the backside looks like. So you get a peek at that rooftop terrace and all the big windows. We are at the front. They've got another sign and this does say coming spring 2024. So further support with that April date that I saw. And here is what the front looks like. It looks pretty amazing. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up or a like. That really helps us and it helps other people find our videos, which we greatly appreciate. Also, I just wanted to show you, there is tons of parking over here. So if you wanna to come to the Big Chill when it opens, here's what the parking situation looks like. And there's where we just came from, where Taco Mundo is. The food here at the Big Chill, they said will be island inspired. So this is not Big Chill as in cold like I am today. This is an island style seafood, all kinds of fun food that fits that laid back. That's the Big Chill we're talking about here. While we're out here in the parking lot, I wanted to talk about some other items that you might not notice because they're not surrounding the lake. You've got River City Grill, Flying Fish. You also have the Alabama Theater. You've got 
the House of Blues, which has a lot of live entertainment. And over in this direction is also Dick's Last Resort. And a little further this way, and they have their own parking lot, is Alligator Adventure. And Alligator Adventure is actually a really cool zoo-like experience. We definitely would recommend it. And it's a, definitely a family-friendly experience. Over here, we've got the Mole Hole. It's a huge, huge gift shop. You've got the Savannah Bee Company. Also, if you have seen some of our Broadway at the Beach videos, Broadway at the Beach is also on, it's actually on 17 Bypass. If you've seen those videos, we have a lot of stores in common between these two, but also a lot of differences. And the environment here is definitely very different than Broadway. They have a different feel. Which one do you like better? Leave that in the comments below. Also regarding the Big Chill, which is that new entertainment restaurant and bar venue we showed, we will definitely keep you updated when that opens. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. That way you won't miss the new video once we are able to show you what it looks like after it's opened. So you can see on this side over here, the theming is slightly different. There's more trees, which in the summer is really nice. Uh, the, tr the trees provide a lot of shade when it's hot here in the summer. And they also have a ton of shopping on this side. Uh, fewer restaurants on this side, but definitely a lot of shopping to be had. There are two different bridges like this that cross over in Barefoot Landing. So you don't have to come all the way to one side. Uh, you can see the beginning of that bridge over there. It sort of cuts across more in the middle. We've got a pretty large Ron John surf shop here. And of the Ron Johns, this is one of my favorites. The layout here is just really nice. It's a cool store to go into. But I wanted to show you from this side because they have it blocked off on the other side. Uh, if you watched our previous videos, you know we've already mentioned the big, big chill before. And we also talked about this briefly before. But uh, this was Francesca's and one other store. Uh, they caught fire and they were still intact. The last time we filmed this and we showed the, you what it looked like, uh, you can still see the burn marks here, but they have now fully demolished both buildings. So I was really surprised to see that. I did hear they are going to rebuild. I don't know if the stores will still be the same. I did hear initially Francesca's would come back and it probably will, but I can't say that for certain. We'll see and we'll definitely keep you posted on that as well. And then we've got Chico's coming up here. And then I want to show a really popular restaurant. We've also got stores here on the front. So this is actually facing 17. So there's Cracker Barrel right across the street as a marker uh, in Highway 17. You've got Monkeys, Sunglasses Hut. Also here on the front, you've got Terra Grina, Cafe de, de Paris or de Paris, depending on how you want to say it. And then straight across from me is Blueberry's Grill. And I want to call it out because it is incredibly popular. I've had so many people leave comments saying that they love eating there. And they actually have two locations. They have another one in Myrtle Beach. Uh, and they are open for breakfast and lunch. I do also know that they do cater to food allergies and sensitivity. So if you have that going on, might be a good option. Definitely talk to them about that. And then we're back around to the Christmas mouse. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.